Hi, I'm Mike, and this is my good friend. Mark. And today we're going to be making some super strawberry bars. Uh, Mark's going to do all our measuring and tell us what we're measuring, and I'm just going to supervise. So, Mark, what's the first ingredient? Oats. Oats. How many? One cup. One cup. Good job. Can we dig in there enough? One cup of oats. The most of flour. Of flour. Good job. You want to try to spoon it in a little bit, or are you okay? Good job. One nice level cup. Perfect. Nothing can be perfect. Nothing can be perfect, but we can try. It's always good. Okay, now some of our other dry ingredients. We need Salt one. Butter. Actually, we're going to wait for that for just a little bit. We're going to get our dry ingredients. So we're going to put uh, our brown sugar next in one third cup. And I will add one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So one third cup of packed brown sugar. Teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. Now we're going to mix that together with a spoon so that we have a nice even distribution of all those ingredients, all those dry ingredients. There you go. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a quarter cup of soft bar butter or margarine. And start. And then we're actually going to, remember we're going to yep. take our dry ingredients, put it on top of the butter, and then just start breaking it up a little bit with our fingertips. We don't want to squeeze it all together in a lump. No. We don't want lumps. Actually, we want lumps, but we don't want it all nice and smooth. Soft. Okay. It's starting to be soft. Starting to be soft, so you can mix it with your spoon a little bit and then use your hands. There we go. Alrighty. Now, once our dry ingredients are made into a crumble with the butter, we're going to take our measuring cup again, and we're going to put our one cup measuring cup. The one. Uh, so. What do we miss? One third. How much salt? One eighth. What'd you hit? Okay. Give that a little bit of a stir around to mix in the uh, salt. Okay. Now, with our one cup measuring cup, we're going to scoop two cups of this mixture into the bottom of the pan. Two cups? Yep. Two cups of it? It's an eight by eight pan. Okay. One more cup. We want to save a little bit of that crumble to sprinkle on top. Yeah, you can just dump it in there. So we'll move it around with our fingers. So it's nice and even all over. Now jam. Oh uh, yeah, but first we have to pack this down. So if you want to pack that down so it's nice and flat. Okay, now we need three quarters of a cup of jam. You sure can. Absolutely, jam. Yes. Okay, so that one we're going to do a little bit more, and then we're very carefully going to spread this. Okay, I'm just going to break it up a little bit so it spreads a little bit easier. Okay, and just push it from the top, and not too hard, just kind of pull the top stuff off right around the edges. 
Okay. Yeah, use a spoon on a little bit of an angle instead of flat like that. Use it on a little bit of an angle. And if it pulls up some of the other stuff, that's okay. So we're going to sprinkle on top anyway. I need some more. Oh, <laughs> this is lots. A little bit of a space around the outside. Space. There we go. Okay, now all of our remaining crumble. Scoop it up like that, sprinkle it all over the top so it's nice and even. And just so everybody watching the video knows, we have a nice greased 8x8 pan, and our oven is heated to how much? 350. Awesome. Nice. How many Celsius is that? I don't know either. Don't worry. It's not important. It kind of is. <laughs> if, yeah, if you work with Celsius, I guess it is. Okay. Actually, you know what? You can just tip that bowl right over. Right in there. Make sure you don't see the jam. That's right. Ah, perfect. And we just very lightly pack that down. Yep. Beautiful. Sides. And we're going to pick that up and we're going to put it in our oven. Preheated. Yeah. Okay, when we take it out. There we go. And how long do we bake it for? Bake for 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Thank you, sir. And then it's cool for 15. Let it cool for 15 and then we cut it, right? Well, it's still a little bit warm so we can get through it. So we'll cut for now and we'll come back when it's time to take it out and start cutting. Okay, we are now finished our baking. And through time-lapse photography, we are now cooled enough to, cook, to cut. So from an 8x8 pan, I'm just going to do one way for you. Ooh, it's a little bit. Split down the middle, all the way down. We're going to get 16 squares out of this. It can also be cut in bars. We like it more as a dessert bar. I do it. Yep, and we're going to turn that way. And fold with the oven mitt because it's still pretty warm. There you go. A little saw back and forth, yeah. Okay. Oh, go slow. The jam's still a little bit hot, so. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see if we can pick that up with the knife. And we can. Those are super strawberry bars. And there we go. There are super strawberry bars. Thanks very much. Oh, leave that there for a second. Thank you, Mark, for coming. Say goodbye. Bye.